This is going to be a quick tutorial on how to create a modern Dutch gable in Home Idea 3D. So I've got this model and now I'm ready to put on a roof. And on this house I'm going to put a modern Dutch gable. Let's start. So I already have level 1, so if you don't have a level to put a roof on, you'll need to create one there at level. But I already have done it. Next thing I want is to figure out how big I want the eaves. I might not want any eaves, but today I'm going to have 30 centimeter eaves. So I'm going to bring in some horizontal guides. I'm going to probably position them 30 centimeters away from the edges of the of the walls. So let's just get 30 centimeters there. Looks like I got 30 centimeters already on that one. Let's get a vertical guide. Let's uh, have a look. Is that 30? No, 30 will be about there. Okay, so let's take that out. Thirty. Now, that's just for the sake of this model. Next thing to do is to measure the difference between that point and that point. So let's have a look. So let's bring that down. That is, it's about. It's about nine meters. So that's nine hundred there. So my roof sections are going to be four hundred and fifty centimeters wide. And I'm going to draw around like that. So, but first, because this is a Dutch gable, the larger parts of the roof I think may start about there and about uh, here. We'll adjust that later. Anyway, let's start where the, the little helper wants me to start. That's there. Okay. Oops, I'm on the wrong level. Let's go down to level one. Let's do that again. Okay. Snaps to that point there. Okay, so there we go. And there we go. Now let's have a look at that on the model. That is a rather high roof, I think, for a Dutch gable or a modern Dutch gable. So let me just uh, lower that slightly. The rise to 250 and the same on the other side. Rise to 250. Mm, I think that's good enough for now. Okay, now the section with the gablets to do that we'll go again here and instead of being the full 450 width on that section I'll make it I'll make the width 200 and I'll give it a rise of uh, 150 which I'll have to get correct later so what we'll do is we'll start like this, go out right like that as a dot down to the next snap point which is there and then to there. Now this gablet section has come in quite far but we'll just fix that right now. Bring that line down to here. There we go. Now we get that and bring that down to there, that one down to there, that to there, and that to there. And that is pretty close. Next thing is just to get that angle correct. So let's just get that right now. So the rise 
on these on this section here I think maybe better at 110 or it's hard to say it went slightly too low so 111 Okay, 111 looks pretty, pretty good to me. So I'm just going to apply 111 to each of those sections. And 111. Excellent. So that's a pretty big gablet, that. Doesn't matter. That. That's it. That's a Dutch, a modern Dutch gable. But I'm just going to make that look a little cooler. First, though, I'm just going to finish the other side. We can see that that work, that has to come out a little. Doesn't matter. So the dimensions on that were width 200 and rise 111. So let's go and just create another one. Width 200, rise 111. We'll go in a clockwise fashion. So we'll start there where the snap point is. Down to there. Up to there and to there. Excellent. Let's bring the green line in. There we go. Bring that back. Bring that back and we'll bring that further down. And that's the other side as well now. Now what we can also do to make that look a little better is to bring this green line back a few more centimeters, say, say, say another 30 centimeters. It's about 30 centimeters, I'd say. Let's have a look. Correct. Then we get this like so. We bring that to there. And there we bring that to there. We have a little slight overhang on the gablet. Actually, I want more. I'm going to come down to about there. And give that quite a large overhang. Excellent. I'll do that to the other side as well. Let me just measure how big that was. It's about 70. So if I go down and just come out 70. About there. Bring that there and bring that to there. And then we got it the same on the other side. Excellent. Now let's just change the opacity of the roof there we go we'll give it a different color and give it a full roof specular a bit like that and maybe blue there we go that is quite a large gablet I will improve that now. In the meantime, thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. But if you just want to stick around for a sec, I will make that a little nicer. So first of all, I'm going to get that, get this main sections here. I'm going to lower the rise to 200. Same size, same size to that side all right that's a bit nicer i'm gonna i'm gonna go back to this point here i guess the overhang will i'll readjust after these sections here i'm gonna change their width to say 250 instead 
Oh, actually, I'll just, what have we got here? Oops, escape. That one. We have 200, yeah. I mean, I'll try 250. So I'll just bring that right back. Let's put a roof width of 250. Let's see what this looks like. So the snap point is there. There. There and uh, roughly there. Let's just bring that green line now. Bring that back. Bring that to there. Bring that little, bring that to that point. Bring that to that point. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. Oh my God. Damn. No worries. That's because I didn't go clockwise. Instead, I should start down there. There we go. That's better. And that's a smaller gablet with an overhang. Same size on the other side. Let's just forget about moving the guide. I'll just keep the numbers the same. The roof roofing tool. Let's just go around, find the snap point, which is there, 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 and there. Done. Let's just see what that looks like. Right now, it's quite a large inset, isn't it? Anyway, let's get that line. Move it back a little. Move that to this one has to go. Oh, jeez. I'm supposed to be an expert. There we go. And there we go. Let's just bring that goal Z. Let's bring that down to there and just a little further. Like that. Like so, we have, I think, a more proportional modern Dutch gable. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe and share.